Hi everyone, so we're here in the office today looking at the neat board. So this is an all-in-one unit, so you can see we've got our bar along the top, so it's, aesthetically it's very similar to the other products in the neat family, the neat bar and the neat bar pro. So my cameras, mic, speakers are all built into the device at the top here, and then below we've got a 65 inch interactive display which I can use for whiteboarding. I can register this device to Zoom, but at the moment I've got this unit registered to Microsoft Teams. So this is a Microsoft Teams room for Android. Um, you can see over here on the right, I've got a Teams call set up that I could push the button, join that instantly. And below there's a Zoom call, which I could also join using the third party guest join features. One thing that I'm gonna just quickly show here, the, this is a fairly new feature for Teams Rooms on Android. You've been able to get whiteboards that you can do Teams calls with for a little while now, um, but it's only just recently that you've been able to actually instigate the whiteboard when you're not in a call here from the device. So I push a button, it opens a Microsoft whiteboard. I'm not currently in a call, but I can come here and I can use the interactive board as if I were in a call. So I'll just drop out of that for the moment. And what we'll also look at is if I then join a call, And so you can see again from down here along the bottom, I've got my meeting room controls. And if I press the presentation button, if I had a HDMI cable connected to a laptop, I could present that from here, or I've got Microsoft Whiteboard. And if I push there again, I can instigate a whiteboard from here. I get my participants down the right-hand side. I've still got my meeting controls along the bottom and any other rooms that are connected to my meeting can see my whiteboard. And if, if another interactive display is connected to this call, they can also whiteboard at the same time as I can, which is really useful. So we'll just, we'll just do a, another test now. We'll have a look at what the device looks and sounds like from the other end. Um, it's quite a good test really, because I'm in quite a large boomy room here and you can see directly above the device, we've actually got all the HVAC, which is a little bit noisy. So the audio that we'll hear through the call in just a moment, we'll have to be doing some AEC to try and cut that sound out. So let's have a look and see what that sounds like. So I'm here in the Microsoft Teams call now. So the video that you're seeing, the audio that you're hearing, that's, this is an example of what this device would look like when you have it in a call. I've got all framing turned off at the moment. So you're just getting the fully zoomed out wide angle camera. And um, part of the reason the camera is so wide angled is because if I was up here writing on the screen, wherever I am whiteboarding, you're still gonna be able to see me on camera. Um, this device is designed for kind of huddle collaboration spaces, things like that. So it's really important to be able to make sure everyone is on screen at all times. If I just wanted to show you some of the camera options. So I get three options. At the moment, framing is off. If Jeremy just comes into the room for a moment as well, so we can look at the group framing, I'll just enable that. And the camera will reposition itself to make sure it always keeps both of us in shot at the same time. And you'll notice that I am a lot closer to the camera than Jeremy is. So I'm currently taking up a lot more of the screen than what Jeremy is. If I were to put neat symmetry on instead, what you'll see that do is when the camera repositions itself, it tries to give everyone equal amount of space in the call, make sure everyone is included. And that works for kind of up to six individual frames. And then if you've got more than six people in the room, but some of those people are quite close together, it'll start repositioning then to keep people within those boxes. And again, if I'm moving around a little bit because it's a, it's a collaboration board, if I'm, you know, I'm whiteboarding on different sides of the board, I'm moving around, I'm talking to the people in the room, it's going to keep repositioning and try and keep me there in that call as well. So the last feature that we wanted to look at on the neat board is the BYOD USB pass-through capability. So you can see down here below the screen, I've got a HDMI cable and a USB cable connected to my device. You can see my Windows desktop up here on screen and I've got USB touchback that lets me control my laptop. If I come here into the settings and I go to video, you can see that I've got the neat board camera selected. And if I go to the audio devices, again, through my laptop, I can use the microphone and speakers as my audio device. And what that means is regardless of whether or not it's officially supported on the Teams room or Zoom room app, 
if you're looking to do a Google Meet or a GoToMeeting or any other video client that doesn't even exist yet, um, you can use the peripherals for whatever it is you're using through the USB cable, which just gives you a lot more functionality and usability for any types of meeting that you're looking to join. So if, if you're interested in the neat board or any of the other neat portfolio, or if you just want to talk about your collaboration spaces, meeting rooms, anything like that, and there'll be contact information at the end of this video and in the description beneath, and please feel free to get in touch.